Ghostbusters Afterlife is meeting with mostly universal praise, and it seems to get a very positive reception from critics. But the quartering, as always, is panicking that maybe it's not as good or as inviting as it may seem. And he's basically basing this off of some stray comments from the director. And as always, I think he's seeing something that's not there. I will give him a little bit of points. Usually the quarter inch usually tries to create a kind of communist, feminist hobgoblin every three seconds. But here his concerns are mostly with the film itself in terms of its genre and what it's aiming at. And it may shock him, but I actually do agree halfway with him. The latest Ghostbusters is, I think, trying to do its best to live up the legacy of the first two films and move beyond the divisive Ghostbusters Answer the Call, which I myself do not like very much. I do think it's a really, really bad film, but it's a comedy, and comedy goes all kinds of ways. So there are some people who actually did like it, and despite what people think, it actually did make respectable box office, but nowhere close to making a profit for Sony. So we're going to hear the quartering do his usual fear-mongering and try to find a middling solution in terms of what his anxieties are with Ghostbusters 3. Try to find a middling solution between complete fear and complete surrender with Ghostbusters Afterlife. ...his grandkids as they discover the history of the founding Ghostbusters' involvement with the paranormal and fight back against the horrors left over from events of the original film. There's a couple of things that I thought I have a problem with, and I know I'm just being a, a Ghostbusters stickler, okay? I understand this. Remember how the original Ghostbusters movie made such a big deal about how heavy the proton packs were? Like, they literally, you know, they seem like they weighed 80 pounds or 100 pounds. Now we have uh, somebody who's about 60 pounds soaking wet carrying a, a proton accelerator pack. I know, fine, I'm just being salty, but okay. Well, again, I'm with him part of the way that they are reframing it as a family-friendly kids film. And if you know the first two films, that's really not true. The second film was a little bit more corporate and a little bit more for the mainstream audience, but I think it did retain the basic spirit of Ghostbusters, and Ghostbusters does have a kind of very adult horror feeling but they mixed it in with a lot of comedy where ghostbusters went wrong was just making it totally a comedy and not having enough of the genuine horror aspects there were a few scenes where fig i think did reach the right tone but it's just too few and the film is way too long for what it was trying to do i also agree with the quartering that the proton packs don't seem to make a whole lot of sense they should indeed be a lot lot more heavy but again, even though this film, Afterlife, is acknowledging parts one and two, it really is doing its own thing. So we want to be careful and not going overboard that it is, yes, sort of broadly within the Ghostbusters universe, but it clearly is trying to be its own project. It's just acknowledging the other movies. It's working broadly with the Ghostbusters universe, but it's sort of its own thing. But beyond those little nitpicks, I think the quartering is exaggerating. Again, I myself don't like this tack of just focusing on the family, but again, given how polarized things were after the answer, the call, whatever you want to call it, all-female cast, to be fair to the quartering, some of the cast did sort of lean in on this, quote, feminist message, right? They had this photo with girl power in it. I do think the other side, whatever you want to call them, men rights activists were going overboard, but it is true some in the cast did sort of bait them as well. It, it just turned into a weird silly spiral between these two groups and actually making a quality ghostbusters film within the mythology just kind of got lost in the shuffle so this is not my favorite iteration of ghostbusters but all the reviews are very converging that it's basically pretty good it is a good comedy it does enough good stuff with the lore so i think the quartering is always is exaggerating how i think he's just trying to be honest and say this is how i constructed this girl character and this is how we're gonna try to restart the ghostbusters universe and it looks good enough there you have a lot of interesting nods to the past films and past characters but a lot of details yeah they're getting it wrong uh, probably some of this is intentional because again they're just starting over and they want to try to find a way to balance these different expectations that the fans have of keeping everything within the original two films and then doing something else. But he is right that they're losing something with the adult tone and kind of the strong horror elements within the first couple of films. And I agree, maybe they should go back to that, but 
again, this is just to really get people excited about Ghostbusters again. I hope they continue the story that they're doing, but I also hope that they can just do the traditional four men are the Ghostbusters, do a full on reboot and then, you know, basically have kind of a multiverse of Ghostbusters. I mean, they're doing it elsewhere in other film franchises. I see no reason to not do it here and just have different universes. And if this is more of a kid friendly thing and people like that, that's fine. But they should have a more adult oriented horror version and people will like that too. So to me, it's just the more the merrier kind of formula. So, but the quartering does get a few things right that, yeah, some of the details are not adding up. But I think overall, him, once more, him being fearful that the communist feminists are going to destroy him or whatever, uh, it's, it's, it's nothing. I mean, he's just trying to be nice to the 2016 version. Just calm down. It's fine. This film is going to be fine. Probably not the perfect version of Ghostbusters we've been waiting for, but, you know, good enough to keep the thing going and hopefully rethink it in a better ground down the road. And that's my take on the uh, current situation. Thanks for listening.